Hey guys, it's Ryan with AI Insider Tips. As you'll see here, I am in a hotel room on a portable microphone again. But again, some more news in the world of AI as Elon Musk has announced the release of Grok. Grok is a new large language model, or LLM, that will compete with ChatGBT, Claude, Google Bard, and others. Now, it is still in the very early stages of beta mode, but I'm going to show you here some important takeaways and what we know already from Elon Musk tweeting and just some other information about Grok AI. So let's take a deeper look and dive in. All right, guys, so two days ago on November 5th, Elon Musk tweeted about Grok. Now, when I first saw this, I was like, wow, this is some this is some big news coming in here. And when you actually click on this tweet from XAI, so XAI is a subset of X, also known as Twitter, um, where this is just their AI account here. So it says announcing Grok. Grok is an AI modeled after the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, so intended to answer almost anything and far harder even suggest what questions to ask. So it says Grok is designed to answer questions with a bit of wit and it has a re rebellious streak, so please don't use it for hate humor. And then it goes on to talk about some other things and some notable people have already replied to Grok. So if you come over to the official website, x.ai, they have a whole page here talking about Grok, what it is, the developers, the team behind it. I'll leave a link to this in the video description below. But as I scroll through here, just some important things that I want to point out. As, as I said before, this is in the very early stages of beta mode. So it says here why we are building Grok to gather feedback and ensure we are building AI tools that maximally benefit all of humanity. Um, so they are looking to compete with ChatGBT, Claude, Google, Bard, and others. So they talk about the journey to Grok 1, uh, which is their first frontier LLM or large language model. They talk about the prototypes and all the, the different testing metrics here. Uh, but something important here is they give all of these different benchmarks in this table. Now, this is confusing with GSM 8K, MMLU, Human Eval, and Math, but they break down what this all means. So this GSM 8K talks about middle school math word problems, MMLU, multidisciplinary multiple choice questions, Human Eval, Python code completion task, and math is middle school and high school mathematics problems. So those are the different benchmarks that they're testing, and they compare it here in this table to Llama 2, which is Meta AI's LLM, GBT 3.5, Palm 2, which is Google, Claude 2, which is Anthropics LLM, and now GBT 4, which is the most popular language model used by ChatGBT and other AI tools. So when looking at all these benchmarks here, here is Grok 1 bolded. It is still, it's underperforming in terms of a lot of these benchmarks. It's underperforming, you know, Claude 2 in a lot of areas and also GBT4. So it is still not there in terms of sophistication that Claude 2, GBT4, and also Google's Palm 2 in many of these benchmarks. I think this is important to call this out that it is not there yet. So when it goes through, you know, this post, it talks about engineering. It talks about all the different research involved. So one thing you guys may be wondering is, well, how do I access this? That was the very first thing that I wanted to know when I first heard about Grok. There is a Grok wait list. So if you click the wait list, it's going to take you to this page. So you have to sign in with your X or Twitter account. It's going to generate this message here. AI Grok wants to access your X account. Click authorize app. And then it's going to validate your login and simply enter your email address. So I'm going to do AI Insider Tips at gmail.com. Click save. And then it says email saved. You'll be notified once we have onboarded you into the early access program. So that is how you have to get early access to Grok is by signing up for the wait list. So, if I so guys, the last thing I want to mention about Grok and why it differentiates from ChatGBT, Google Bard, and Claude 2 is Elon Musk's access to this real-time data that he has on X or Twitter. And it makes a lot of sense looking back at this. And he explains all of this on this page if you want to read all the different data here and inputs. Um, but it makes a lot of sense now looking back on why Elon Musk ended up purchasing Twitter and rebranded it to X. This is AI company is now called XAI. Um, so it makes sense why he rebranded Twitter to X. But the biggest differentiating factor, guys, is think about all the real-time data data, news, and insights that comes through X that does not come through, you know, Google or all these news outlets that, you know, report on real-time news. 
oftentimes social media like X gets more, you know, real time access to things going on versus some of these news outlets. So it's a really big deal that he has now an LLM or a large language model that is making its data and training based on all of these inputs here from the X social media platform. So I think this is the differentiating factor compared to a Google Bard or a ChatGBT that is using search results from Bing and Google to train their models on recency. But that's it guys, just wanted to do a quick video explaining Grok and all the different details that go into this new large language model created by Elon Musk and the team at XAI. Again, this is Ryan with AI Insider Tips. Appreciate you all watching this video. Be sure to like, share, subscribe. Leave me a comment below on what you think of x.ai. Curious to hear your thoughts on this. And guys, I look forward to creating more content like this in the near future.